How much is a house sell for in St. John's County? Well, let's take a look at the general, very big, broad uh, stats for St. John's County looking at May of 2023. And as a quick reminder, this column right here, I don't know if you can see my, there we go, my little yellow dot here. This column right here is the stats for May 2022. Uh, it's going to show us the difference between this past May and last May. And then right here, we have the difference between April of 2023 so what's changed from April into May of this year so let's hop right in and we've got the uh, we've got the median sales price to start and the uh, the stat is helpful for watching the trends but uh, I don't like to look at it as much as this down here looking at the price per foot but we'll get there in a second this helps us understand the market to a degree but also is a little more sensitive to things like smaller homes larger homes being sold uh, the prices in general going up and down, which is what we're trying to measure. But uh, when we're trying to figure out what your house might sell for or what you might want to buy a house for or build a house for, um, this isn't the, the catch-all. We can't just apply this to the square footage, but uh, this is pretty helpful for looking at the trends. So anyways, uh, from May of uh, 2022, we are down 2.3% and uh, actually up from April here on the median sales price at uh, $562,000. Looking at closed sales, yeah, I would expect that we're down from last May. And also on the speed of sale, look at this, we are up 100 and almost 180% compared to the same time last year and fewer sales. And that's just because inventory uh, was super low at this time last year and demand was still super high as well. Um, and right there, yeah, we've got uh, 36 uh, days on market on average here in St. John's County. And that's actually a little bit lower than what we saw in April as well, which uh, to me indicates that demand uh, was up in May compared to April even. Jumping down here, let's look at the uh, number of homes that closed over list price percentage wise. Uh, obviously fewer, this tends to indicate uh, multiple offer type situations, not always, but uh, does tend to indicate multiple offers are happening. And that's what we have been seeing in some of the hotter neighborhoods when things are priced right, we're still seeing uh, multiple offer type situations and uh, pool homes as well. So uh, anyways, looking here, we are actually about 70% fewer homes are going multiple offers and uh, going over ask, but uh, significantly up May was over April. And so these are when homes are closing. And so this activity is actually probably reflecting what was happening in April for homes that were closing in May. Uh, so this, this really looks at, uh, I believe, uh, April's activity was uh, super high. Uh, so let's hop down here. And so we do see that uh, prices actually uh, look like they've gone up when you're just looking at per square foot over last year. So, you know, everyone's saying the market's terrible, the houses, the uh, house prices are falling, we're crashing, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, well, this number right here disagrees. It says we're actually, we've squeaked up a little bit. And if I had to guess, I think we'll end the, uh, here in St. John's County, I think we'll probably end up three or 4% higher than uh, what we went into this year. Uh, uh, looking at price per foot, but that also does allow for at the end of last year, there was a, a decline as well. So it'll be interesting to see uh, December, October, November, December from this year over October, uh, November, December last year and see where we end up. Uh, you might be pleasantly su surprised, I guess, depending if, <laughs> if you're looking to sell or buy uh, or if you just bought uh, your attitude towards that might change a little bit. So right here, looking at new pendings, this is basically how many new contracts there were. Uh, last month, 539, and that's down a little bit from April, but up significantly. And again, I think that's represented in that there just are more homes available for sale than there were in May last year. So speaking of inventory, new listings, how many new listings came to the market? Well, if you're a buyer, this is good news. There are, but 9% more homes came to the market uh, in May of 23 than happened in May of 22. So we're riding into summer with more homes for sale. And uh, even compared to what happened in April, 
Uh, I think we saw a little bump in April too over March. And so people are listing homes. Homes are coming for sale on the market. So if you're a frustrated buyer, uh, we're getting lots of options out there right now. But as we see, uh, we're getting new there is inventory out there and coming out there. Uh, if you are selling or thinking about selling, uh, now's a great time to get in there and uh, get ahead of all these, all that competition coming into the market for you. I think a lot of these new listings too uh, might be new construction. Uh, a lot of the builders have been listing new spec homes the last couple months. And so we're seeing a bunch of that. We're seeing a bunch of those flood some of the markets and uh, those homes aren't always necessarily available right now. Some of these might actually not be done until sometime next year, maybe next summer even. So looking at active inventory, how many homes actually are available for sale right now if you're a buyer? Well, there's 1,431 here in St. John's County, and that is up a whopping 112% from last year and up 10% from even April. Uh, there's 10% uh, more homes to choose from. And then months of supply is actually down. So what that tells me when inventory is going up and months of supply is going down, that just means that demand has actually gone up and demand has gone up uh, higher than the inventory has gone up. And so, uh, yeah, there's a lot more sellers have come onto the market, but even more buyers have come into the market. So the months of supply, going down means that it's driving more towards a seller's market and that if no homes came on the market, it would be about 2.83 months uh, before we completely ran out of homes and didn't have any more. So we need more listings to feed the uh, appetite of the number of buyers out there. So overall, there's some pluses for both sides of things in here. Uh, we are seeing that uh, people listing their house are getting a good price, that that has been going up. And we actually see that there are more choices for buyers as well. Now, if we start seeing this number here going up, then that means that buyers are getting a, a stronger position. And maybe next month, that's what we'll see. If uh, we get a lot of inventory and some of the buyers back off, then we'll see the months of supply will increase. And when that starts hitting four, five, six, then buyers are getting a little more parity and then uh, seven, eight, nine, which I don't see happening this year. Uh, that would mean that buyers have a lot of strength. But that said, I'm seeing a lot of conseller concessions as well. And so if you're a buyer, if you're a little scared off by interest rates, why not go in and as part of your offer, negotiate a rate buy down. Uh, so that you're actually able to get a rate that's substantially below market. Of course, what they say, marry the house, date the rate. So if you find a house that you absolutely love, hop on it now, get a rate buy down to get your price locked in at a good, to get your monthly price locked in at a good spot. And then down the road, just refinance that sucker and get an even better rate down the road. Anyways, these are your market stats for St. John's County. And if you have some more detailed questions, please reach out. I am happy to help you. Or if you just have questions or anything you'd like to see covered in these videos, hit it in the comments, hit me on a DM or uh, give me a call, text, whatever. Look forward to uh, chatting with you guys soon.